What's up everybody and today is another episode review of How to Keep a Mummy, episode 2. Now, I found out last week was really great. It was a relax How to Keep a Mummy from watching the first episode was really relaxing. It was really cute and adorable show to watch. It's one of those shows that makes you want to hug hug your little plushie or hug your little next chibi character you have. You're like, oh, it's so adorable. I want to squeeze this so much. And it's like, what? and they'll hug your little pets, you know, your little puppies, your kids. You want to hug it so cute and all that you don't want to do. And you want to take it to school and show off your friends and all that stuff. How to Keep a Mummy Episode 2 demonstrates just how cute Mikun is. It's just like, Mikun, that, that little mummy, it's like watching Rugrats like small babies big adventures and how to in how to keep a mummy me couldn't demonstrated it now Sora on the other hand I forgot to, I forgot to mention this in the first episode but Sora well, Sora the main character looks like a guy from Vanguard like okay here's the thing I don't play Vanguard I tried it I tried it so many times but the only card game I stick with is Yu-Gi-Oh and Y Swords Pro and probably first force of will up Get into that loop. I mean, like, of course it was good. But anyway, Sora, he looks like a guy from Vanguard. And I have, and I've seen characters. I haven't watched the show, but I've seen characters. And they look exactly like Sora for some reason. Maybe it's the hair. But anyway, Sora, as being respectful to Miku, Miku is trying so hard to, to bond with Sora to the funny point. I mean, like, for one time, Miku tried to pick up a, trying to pick up a knife, a big-ass knife. But he couldn't do it, so Sora made a miniature knife for Sora. I mean, Sora made a miniature knife for Mikun. And it was adorable seeing him cutting it and cutting it. Cutting the cucumbers. But when a little small little cube cucumber fell, Mikun trying to grab it, he fell. But Sora reflexes came, grabbed Mikun, and hit his face on the wall. And it was sad seeing, you know, it was sad seeing Mikun trying, but Mikun was trying really hard to bond with Sora. And it's really great to see the the partnership, the communication between Sora and Mikun right there. Now, his best friend, okay, I get it. His best friend's mean, but he ain't that mean. I think it's, I forgot his name. God damn it, I keep forgetting his name. See, characters like him, like uh, Takashi, I can't remember that, Takashi, whatever. He's really nice. He just don't know how to describe. He just, Mikun find him terrified because he bluffed Mikun and no, Matter of fact, let me go before that. He, Miku trying to flip over a page that Sora's uh, trying to copy notes. And he tried to flip a page, but it didn't work. So the page got wrinkled. And it, it kind of like this. It's kind of like this. So here's me saying Sora flipping pages. And then here came Miku trying to rip it up, trying to flip it, but it got wrinkled. And it was so dope that he made a tiny little, tiny little book for him to flip pages over and draw stuff. It was adorable. Now back, now back to what I was saying. His best friend grabbed Mikun, and he wants to see what the bandages are out of it. And I'm like, he trying to find out where the bandages at, where they remove it. And I'm like, oh shit, are we going to see what it looks like? I mean, me personally, I would love to see it. Oh, by the way, Mikun looked like the size of these little miniature bleach figures. Like, you see how small Cone is? You see how small Rookie is? You know, Ichigo's a little chibi form? Picture that size. Okay, anyway, Mikun... I mean, he grabbed Mikun and trying to, like, find the bandages of it. And I'm like, oh, my God, we're going to see what it looks like. But I feel about it. I'm like, I feel like Mikun is hiding a little curse inside of him. It's like one of those things when you open it, like, open it. If you rip a bandage of it, you could get infected. You you could breathe through it and you turn into a mummy. You know, that, that kind of scene reminds me of Uncharted, the first Uncharted game, where they had uh, the golden statue of El Dorado. And then when they open it, it was a dead person inside, and the aroma of it smells, and they turn to like beasts. They, they turn to the to beach, you know, scratchy Spaniards type thing, you know. Watch play, watch Uncharted One. Look at that statue, and you tell me what you think. But it's kind of like that. That's why no one ripped the bandage off. Now, yeah, but it was great. Now here's the funny thing: when you take a cute little mummy or any cute little thing to school. Chances are, girls are going to like you so much. Like, come on, guys. How many of you have seen shows or have this had an experiment where you take something so cute, you take it to school, and you get a lot of street cred? Not only from your friends, but also girls who's like, oh, it's so cute. Can I hold it? 
that thing happens a lot these days. And what Sora did, he got to give him props. I mean, he tried to, he took me come to school, and then you got this girl, you got this girl, so I can keep forgetting her name. She's just random. I mean, she don't name really pop up. But anyway, she's so nice that she's poking it, that she wanted a stuffed toy of it. And then she literally, then he made copies of the of Miku with bandages and eye googly eyes whatever made copies of that but then she grabbed me the real Miku and now she's chasing around for it now Miku has the other hand he he has it's like Rugrats remember I said about Rugrats big, small babies big adventures and Miku as an example of it he he's in the girls locker room he's in the girls locker room so his adventures in school was really fun because he goes down the dress I mean, he goes down her, her shirt, see a hole in the wall. He's like, hmm, if I go through the hole in the wall, I could get out. I could finally meet him. So he tried going through it. And there's a rat in there. I'm like, oh, shit. And he was running like a, he was also running like a rat. He was running like a rat. I mean, he's dodging the rat sideways in the vents. And I'm like, go, 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 go. He survived everything. And then when he made it out, he finally found Sorokun. And he climbed on, <laughs> climbed on his shoulder and... And they managed to get the rat and just get him out of there. So it was great to see that epic adventure with Miku. That's like the biggest adventure that he had so far. And now, that's how short and simple I could think of when looking at this show. This show is really adorable to watch. I mean, right now, as winter animes, as winter 2018 kicks in, the only adorable shows I've seen so far is How to Keep a Mummy and Slow Start. Because... Slow start. If you watch Slow Start, understand you'll see Kana, voice actress Kana from Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid in it, in that show. Slow start. That's the anime. So if you watch Slow Start, and if you see Kana, it like you see someone with Kana's voice with white hair, that's like Kana in high school. I'm just saying. But how to keep your mummy is so adorable. It's like having a miniature pet on you. It's like when you, it's like sitting down and having a, a plushie, a little cute little plushie and a cute little kitten to watch with this show. That's how I see it. But anyway, this ep like I said before, this episode was really great. It was really adorable to watch. It had some comedy to it, but it was really see Mikun having adventures of his own in this episode. So it was great. Now, before I before I leave, I have an announcement. Like um, so I know that people out there have normal lives out there, like jobs, school, etc. Um, the thing is, I have um next week. Next week is going to be epic for me. I don't know, because I got this job next week, I don't know if I'm able to do reviews on these four shows right now. So, Citrus, Killing Bites, Ito Jin Collection, How to Keep Your Mummy. Those are the four shows I'm confirming to do. But I can't, as for Friday concerns, you know, with Ito Jin Collection and Killing Bites, all that, I can't guarantee you uh days to do that i can't guarantee to do those on the same day so i will try to manage the best i can to do four of these shows starting next week i can't guarantee you it's gonna be real on the same day of the show it aired but you're gonna have to bear with me on this i'm sorry but that's that's all i have to say but that's it. So tune in next week for another epic adventures of Mikun and his and his outdoor life and how to keep a mummy. 